and welcome to Learning with Lisa. In today's video, we are learning all about the animals and plants that live in tropical rainforests. We will also learn what we can do to help protect them. While you are watching the video, keep a lookout for the brightly coloured parrot. Tell me at the end how many times it appears. First of all, let's find out what a tropical rainforest is. There is a clue in the name. I wonder if you can guess. A tropical rainforest is a forest with huge trees and many plants with large leaves. Tropical rainforests are found in places where the weather is very warm and has lots of rain. They are called rainforests because there is lots of rain. Were you right? Tropical rainforests are found in the equator, which is an imaginary line that circles the middle of the globe in places such as South America and Southeast Asia. The Amazon rainforest is very famous. It is hot all year round and there is lots of rainfall. Some seasons have more rainfall than others. The rainy season is when it rains the most. A rainforest has more species of plants than any other place on earth. Did you know that more than half of the world's plant species are found in rainforests? All the rain and warmth encourages plants to grow. Where there are many plants, there are many incredible animals as they have plenty of food to eat. Tigers, parrots, butterflies, orangutans and monkeys all make the rainforest their home. The rainforest is made up of four layers. The emergent layer, the canopy, the understory and the forest floor. The emergent layer is the highest layer and is where the tops of the tallest trees can be seen. Many birds and butterflies enjoy flying here. The canopy is the tree top layer formed by branches and leaves. This part of the rainforest gets the largest amount of sunlight and is the place where most animals like to live. Red-eyed frogs, howler monkeys and toucans are just a few of the animals you might find here. The third layer is called the understory. It is made up of bushes and shorter trees. It's quite a dark place, but jaguars and boa constrictors seem happy here. The fourth layer is the forest floor and not much sunlight gets here, so it is quite dark. The biggest animals like to live here. Anteaters eat ants and many insects can be found amongst the layer of dead leaves. Rivers and streams also run through rainforests and animals use the water here to drink. Let's find out why tropical rainforests are important. Well, as you can see, they provide a place to live for many different animals and plants. Some of the plants found in the rainforest are used in ingredients for making medicines. Some of our food comes from the rainforest. Did you know that cocoa beans used to make chocolate comes from the rainforest? It also gives us timber to build furniture and to make paper. Trees also store large amounts of carbon. And if rainforests are destroyed and left to rot, carbon is then released as carbon dioxide, which is a harmful greenhouse gas 
and can make global warming even worse. Sadly, rainforests from all over the world are under threat. Every second, a rainforest the size of a football pitch is cut down. Trees are cut down for their timber and some rainforests are also being destroyed to make space for farms. Trees are being cut down to grow sugar cane and oil palm trees. Trees are also being chopped down to make space for grazing animals. Chopping down an area of trees is called deforestation. So what can we do to help save the rainforest? Well, we can encourage people to buy things that do not contain palm oil. Palm oil is a type of vegetable oil which is made from the fruit of the palm oil tree. It is found in half of all household and food products. It is an ingredient in shampoo, toothpaste, ready meals, lipstick and much more. Orangutans are losing their homes due to trees being chopped down for palm oil. Luckily, many companies are now making palm oil free products. We can also do a number of things to save paper. So less trees need to be chopped down. Remember to recycle paper when you have finished with it. Also, ask people to reuse old envelopes as this saves paper too. We could also ask people to put no junk mail signs on their front doors as this would automatically reduce how much paper is wasted. Often, mail and leaflets that come through our letterboxes are put straight into the bin. Try to print out only what is needed too. Lastly, encourage people to only buy furniture which has come from well-managed forests. Now you have found out all about tropical rainforests, let's see how much you can remember. Let's do the quiz. What is the weather like in a tropical rainforest? Is it snowy? Warm and wet, very hot. Weather in a tropical rainforest is warm and wet. Which one of these would you not find in a rainforest? A monkey, a tiger, a lion. You would not find a lion in the rainforest. Why is there such a wide range of animals in the rainforest? There are many plants. They enjoy the sun. They do not have anywhere else to live. The answer is there's a large variety of plants. How many different layers are there in a rainforest? Three, four, five. There are four different layers in a rainforest. What are rainforest trees used for? Christmas trees? For planting in our gardens, furniture. Rainforest trees are used for building furniture. Which of these does not come from the rainforest? Chocolate, some medicines, snowdrops. Snowdrops do not belong in the rainforest. Why are trees good for the environment? They help keep our air clean. They look nice. They smell nice.
trees help us to keep the air clean. Which of these will help save the animals in the rainforest? Visiting the rainforest? Using palm oil free products? Chopping down trees? The answer is using palm oil free products. It's time for me to show you some photos I took on my visit to the rainforest. I hope you like them. We've now finished learning all about rainforests. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, but before I go, how many times did you see the parrot? I saw the parrot 11 times. If you enjoyed watching my video, please give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you for watching and bye bye for now. Bye.